Hello everyone, welcome to Wheels on the Bike. The season is changing, it's raining and daylight hours are getting shorter and as a result, visibility has been on my mind. I live in Toronto, Canada and people don't typically expect to see cyclists riding in late fall and in the winter and as a result, I want to increase my visibility and one of the ways in which I do that is I add more lights. So when Relight contacted me asking if I wanted to test out their gem plus front and rear lights i said yes please send them along and in this video i want to share the results of that testing with you the pros and the cons and everything in between so if you're interested let's get to it there are two types of lights ones that allow you to see so an example of that would be the Relight Lux 700 light I reviewed some time ago and there are lights that allow others to see you and the Gem Plus lights are the second type. Now Relight is a Danish company and so they do have to comply with Danish legislation and these lights were made for, to be visible from at least 300 meters. The front light shines with up to 320 lumen at its brightest and the rear light shines with up to 150 lumens at its brightest. The lights are rechargeable and there is a 900 milliamp hour battery and a USB-C cable is provided. The lights have six light modes with one extra in the rear light and I'll share what those look like later on in the video. The lights are IPX4 rated so they are waterproof and they can be mounted on the bicycle using the provided mounting bracket. This is the box for the front light and this is the box for the rear light. What I like is Relight's attention to detail and this includes the packaging. On the inside of the box you have a piece of cardboard that includes instructions. What do you get in the box? You get of course the light. For the front light you get three rubber bands. These rubber bands allow you to install the mounting bracket on the bicycle. The front one has three, the rear light has two. You get a little Allen key that allows you to install the cradle onto the bicycle again. There's one screw and you get a charging cable. So what do I like about these lights? First things first, they have a magnetic back. So this allows me to just put them together, join them together, and then not have to worry about fishing for two separate lights in my bag. I mentioned that the rear light has a pretty cool functionality and that is a braking light. Another thing I like about these lights is the size of the button and the cover. Something else that I like about this light is the 180 degree visibility. So if you take a look at the piece of plastic that protrudes, that light source is visible from the side, which is so important, especially when riding in the winter time. Another thing I like about this light is the battery status indicator. I always say there's no such thing as a perfect product. There's always pros and there's always cons. And I found two. The first one has to do with this charging cable. Now, I commented on this in my previous review as well. This USB-C cable is so short. I use a cable management system where I put all my cables and this teeny tiny cable is on the short side. The second con is a little bit more substantial for me in that these lights can only be attached to the bike using this mounting bracket. And the mounting bracket, I'm unable to mount it on a bag, for example. So I wish there was some sort of a way for me, or some sort of a clip at the back or something, which would allow me to mount this light on my bag at the back of the bike. There are six different light modes on these lights and they're divided into two categories, constant and pulsing. Let's take a look at what these look like in the daytime and at night. Here's what the high constant mode looks like during the day. And here's what the high constant mode looks like at night. Here's what the medium constant mode looks like during the day. And here's what the medium constant mode looks like at night. Here's what medium constant and flash mode looks like during the day. And here's what medium constant and flash mode looks like at night. Here's what pulse looks like during the day. And here's what pulse looks like at night. Here's what strobe looks like during the day. And here's what strobe looks like at night. Here's what eco flash looks like during the day. 
And here's what EcoFlash looks like at night. And that is all I have for you about these Gem Plus front and rear lights. These are a new product for Relight and the purpose of this video was to provide you with information about the new product and provide you with another option to consider if you are looking for a new set of lights. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Comment, like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. Thank you for your time and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Wheels on the Bike. Oh my God, it's a raccoon. Oh my God, okay, this is not normal, not normal. Raccoons shouldn't be coming this close to humans. Come on, raccoon. Get out, out, out.